In problem number seven of section 3.3, .3, we're asked to determine whether a given parameterization of a curve is a simple regular parameterization. Now, recall that a simple regular parameterization is, uh, of a curve is parameterization such that, um, well, first, it has to be one to one. Uh, each of the component functions have to be continuously differentiable on some, uh, some open interval, A to B, and also has to be defined on the closed interval, A, B. And also the derivative has to be non-zero at all points. Well, let's go through and check. I mean, this is definitely uh, one to one on the interval uh, zero to two pi over five. Um, definitely no, no question on the first two points, or first two coordinates. The second coordinate cosine is one to one on the interval from zero to pi, and two pi over five is less than pi, so it's one to one on the entire interval. Um, one to one, uh, continuously differentiable. Well, each component function is, dif is differentiable and it's der all its derivatives are continuous and differentiable. So, continuously differentiable. Uh, so the last part thing to check is whether or not the uh, derivative is uh, non-zero at all points. Well, look at uh, the derivative of 2t cubed, so I'll well, just look at lambda prime of t. So the derivative of 2t cubed is uh, 6t squared. Derivative of 16 is uh, 0. And derivative of cosine is minus sine. So now we need to check, well, is this equal to 0? at any single point. Well, we're probably pretty safe because this is non-zero only at the point zero. So if this um, function is actually equal to the zero vector, uh, so if this is true, then that implies that both these components are zero and we must have that 6t squared is equal to minus sine of t. Well, the only point that um, that can happen at is zero. So we see that, um, well, the derivative, well, if t is equal to zero, it's not actually differentiable at that point. So it actually um, is non-zero. The derivative is non-zero at all points in the open interval zero to two pi over five. So it actually is, um, continuously differential, or um, is a simple regular, regular parameterization.